So I like to hand over the floor uh, for Mr. Sai to present. Thank you. Respected Chairman of the Session, Mr. Dinesh Gimare, fellow panelists, distinguished participants, guests, I must express my thanks to the organizer, namely Ipan, also at individual level, for the follow-up that I should try to make it to this conference and also for the subject as uh, rightly introduced by the chairman of the session that I should be saying uh, what we could do in India. Not that we have done great, but there is always a mutual learning uh, what we could do. Mind you that uh, we also struggled for many years. In fact, Indian power sector was opened up for private sector invitation participation in a big way as early as 1991, but almost 10, 12 years, not much happened, not much happened. So we also, and I term it as a decade of lost opportunities, whole decade of 90s. And then we, we thought that thorough restructuring, thorough overhaul of the sector is needed, the climate has to be created, uh, hand-holding climate has to be created, facilitative climate has to be created, attractive investment opportunities have to be put in place uh, that we can then expect uh, major additions apart from the government and even government organizations need support and attractive investment opportunities and apart from the government organizations others to come. So therefore there is nothing to so much be worried about if, if we have started now we can put our heart together and do something. I was listening to the Honorable Minister in the morning when he said that we could target 20,000 megawatt, 8,000 megawatt by private sector, 8,000 megawatt by public sector, and 4,000 megawatt by donors. It's a tall target, no doubt, but uh, one lesson definitely I must say we have to keep in mind that if we target high, and not only target, make a start, make a starts. Because in, in I remember 2002-03, we were monitoring how many projects have been started. They started not on paper, but they started in terms of construction. Then it takes time. You get into problem here and there. So targeting the starts also is an important requirement. And then we target high. If we want to achieve 10,000 megawatt, we should see that we target and make a starts in next one or two years of, if not 20,000 megawatt, at least 10,000 megawatt, so that uh, 15,000 megawatt, so that we can finally achieve 10,000 megawatt. So that would be the, as, as the, as the session theme is that lessons from India. Of course, as I said, we have lessons to learn from Nepal as well on many things but lessons from India in the modest way. So let me, this, this presentation is uh, rather long. I will skip many of the things because some of the things I need to talk on the basis of what subjects have been covered in last uh, couple of sessions, including what our ambassador uh, clarified. But I have been, as rightly said by the session chairman, deeply involved in last two, three years with what is happening here and what to happen here what needs to happen in India, so trying to synthesize, trying to integrate what should happen in India so that it can contribute to a good part of what should happen here. So therefore, I will, in the last five minutes, I will try to get into that. But since it is something to say, how did we do it in India? As I said that after 2003 Act, as rightly said, that was the turning point. If you see India's next, it's from here, okay. Thank you. Yeah, these three phases. I won't talk of 1990 phase before that, 91, 2002, 
91-2002, I must say that we, we said we have liberalized the power sector, but lot of loose ends. Something like, I mean, in fact, worse than what you are now in terms of institutional framework, in terms of legislative framework, in, in terms of policy framework. And therefore, di we did say we have liberalized, but out of 60,000 megawatt that we thought will come from outside, not even 5,000 megawatt came from the private sector. So 91 to 2002, more or less, according to me, we, we, we if not wasted, it was a decade of lost opportunity. Then comes uh, after 2002, and it is there where I had the privilege of being associated with the power ministry for, for, for five years, and we did the whole, whole range of things. So I'll go straight away to, uh, let's just skip some of the things. It describes earlier situations. And I, I have just summarized the earlier situation. Yeah, this is what, this is what we did after 2001, uh, from 2002. Uh, you can see we did uh, so many things. Accelerated Power Development Reform Program, Electricity Act being the most important and most powerful document, uh, 50,000 megawatt hydroelectric initiative, 100,000 megawatt thermal initiative, national electricity policy, electricity tariff policy, whole range. I won't repeat each one of them, perhaps it is there on their uh, email and they can be forwarded to you. Electricity Act was the turning point. We de-licensed. De what was the situation? power sector crisis, deficit, and for anybody to set up power project, it was a hassle. So we de-licensed power generation altogether. 